Generations of Americans have responded with a simple creed that sums up the spirit of a people. Yes, we cook. And welcome back to another episode of Yes, We Cook. Today is a is one for the ladies. I feel like this Absolutely. is a special grilling episode. Um, one for the ladies because we enjoy the the fruits of the grill, but also because I feel we're uneducated in the ways of grilling, and uh, we could use we could use a boost, frankly, myself included. So the grill has a softer side, and we're going to expose that. All right. Um, we're gonna show what delicious desserts you can make from the grill. Ingredients. Yeah. What's uh, what's in it? We're gonna grill some pineapple. My father would hold a conference with the birds. He'd talk to the plant and understand their words. I can remember the sound of his voice, eyes full of all he knew. At sunrise, he'd give me lessons. So, we're gonna get our fruits ready for the grill. Alright. That means cutting them into very easily grillable pieces, which means keeping them pretty big. Are you, now is the twisting oh, help or the is twisting it? definitely helps. Okay, there we go. Awesome. This guy came right out. Peaches are in season. They are fruit of summer, so that means both that they will be more delicious mm. and that they will be cheaper during the summer. Okay. Okay. So this is a pineapple. I see and that. And it's actually I've heard a winter fruit, so it's not really seasonal. But but it has a feeling of summer. There's like a zest. And a flare. Well, it grows in places though that aren't as seasonal as say DC. Right. Casey. Right. It can come from Hawaii or other places, and you just want to hack off the top. Now, how do you? Whenever I cut pineapple, I always run into problems from the sides, from from these things here. These guys. You have to just sort of basically get as close as you can to the side. Okay. And resign yourself to losing some of the. Uh, some, Some of the pineapple goodness. Right, exactly. Okay. So you don't want any like green stuff. Alright. Your goal is to get rid of the green stuff. Okay, I'm gonna let you do the crowning crowning sliver here. Okay. You trust me with the knife? I trust you. Brave woman. There you go. Okay. Show that pineapple who's boss. Apparently today I am. Alright, so now we're going to put this into little grill sized pieces and just um, cutting them as thin as you can or not as thin as you can but um basically when you put these on the grill <laughs> the purple, I'm sorry when you put these on the grill they'll get kind of a nice caramely crust uh, and the more surface area you have the more crust you have so um, you could have two slices of, with more crust or you could have one big slice with less crust personally I prefer my nice. slices. Now we put this in here, and we are going to, so to get that nice sugary outside, we are going to add some sugars to our fruits, our already very sweet and delicious fruits, mm -hmm. and then some cinnamon. Ooh, spice it up. And then you just mix it up. Use your hands. Let it sort of get into all Ooh, of the. You can smell it. Yeah. Um, and if you feel like it's not enough, just add more. Excellent. And ideally, they'll all be covered. They'll be covered and they can sit for a while or not for a while. You know, if you're good at planning, they'll sit for a while. If you're not good at planning, does then it just help just it absorb ready. it? Or yeah, is it... it just lets it absorb it. But okay. it's not a catastrophe if it doesn't. Okay. All right. <laughs> We're doing planning. All right, so we've let it sit. We've let it kind of uh, simmer into the, absorb the spices. All right. Now we're ready to put on the grill. All right. And we just sort of plunk it on on our grill, which we've allowed to stay on while we've been eating dinner. So you can really just sort of. It's a very easy way to do dessert. You want to make sure we get some peaches, peaches in on. there. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> And you want to put the peach juicy side down. So it's warming into the where the pit was? Um, exactly. And that's because in terms of what will caramelize, it's that 
kind of sweet, soft, exposed flesh. So we've let this sit on the grill for two or three minutes, maybe five. Okay. And now we're ready to flip it over. Oh, Ooh, that looks. Uh, this one is definitely thoroughly charred. That's okay though. It's gonna taste a little smoky. Well, those are the pieces we put on first, though. Right. Now we're gonna take off our fruits. Oh my! And just lift them off. And ooh. true, they are cooked to varying degrees, but you know. Your guests might have different tastes. Maybe you have someone who really likes charred things. <laughs> Maybe you have someone who a likes it crispy. More, more raw. We are going to dice up our fruits. Okay. Add them, some ice cream, some chocolate chips, some whipped cream, and some candied walnuts. This is going to be basically like an uber sundae to cap off your barbecue. diabetic coma at the yeah. end. Yeah. So Excellent. I'm just going to dice into these. Woo. Ooh. Those look nice and gooey. Yeah. I'll just put some on the plate. And take a couple pieces of pineapple. And the pineapple mm -hmm. is particularly important to cut because it's got that tough middle bit that personally I don't like. Okay. So I just want to eliminate it from the picture. And this is up. I like to save some to put on top as a garnish. <laughs> Ice cream. We're gonna do a scoop of vanilla. Okay. A scoop of dolce de leche. Ooh. A scoop of vanilla. Another scoop. That got carried away with vanilla. And a scoop of dolce de leche. Oh god, I'm not gonna be able to walk home after this. Uh, yes, you will. You walk <laughs> home joyfully. Sprinkle in a little bit of nuts. Some candy nuts. Yeah, do you want to? You can just add in as much okay. as you want. It's sort of, you can actually do this as like a make your own sundae with people. Okay, and then you want to put in just a little chocolate bit. chips. It's like a small handful. Do you want to? You can add in however much you want. I have to admit, I was wondering when you brought these out earlier how they were going to go on yes. the grill. Oh, wait. <laughs> they aren't very grill friendly, you're right? No. They're a nice garnish, though. Yeah. And if you want to make your own whipped cream, you obviously can. You just basically beat cream and a little bit of uh, powdered sugar and vanilla. Okay. But you can also keep a can of whipped cream. Candy. Oh man. Wow. Okay. Ready? Yes. I'm very ready. These are our grilled fruit sundaes. Ooh. Mm. They've gotten kind of mushy already. Mmm. Oh, they're very good. Oh my god. <laughs> the peaches are really kind of tender. Mm hmm. The pineapple is just the right, kind of warm and sweet. Mm -hmm. It's a nice contrast to the. Mm. This is actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I might need to be alone with my ice cream. Bye! Yes, we cook.